This is a uh, Ouroboros cataphractus or the armadillo lizard. So this is Chad getting some love bites from the little uh, bush snake. <laughs> uh, how's it doing? Is it okay? It's, it's okay. Smallest adder species in the world, right here. And she doesn't move a lot. We've also been stopped by the cops asking what we're doing in, in broken Afrikaans to explain we're looking for clear money, please. Yeah. Uh, this is a good gecko. And he's a uh, pachydactylus. Oh, yes. We were pretty scared. That was scary. Pretty scared. Okay, awesome. So this is day two at Okhrabi's and uh, Luke's attempting to get a nice shot of the spotted bush snake on the tree. It's a juvenile and it's been giving him some hassles. Uh, we got the snake, well Luke got the snake last night Should sitting. So last night um, after we got here, quite late, we actually decided to go have a look around the property. We managed to find three snakes just here. As you can see, we got the brown house snake, beautiful northern cape version. And then we got the spotted bush snakes, a very small one and a, and a really large one actually. And you can see that the color is very different to where we're from, well we're Herp mainly, which is the eastern cape. It's got this weird kind of like barky kind of, what color would you say it is Luke? I don't know, it's like a two-tone green at the front and olive grey at the back. Yeah, and it's just very different to what we're used to. And um, yeah, we're going to release them all now, quickly. Yeah, it's just sticking right up here in the tree. She's a female snake here. Away from the gardener. Oh, we're pretty keen on killing them. These are just some little Viverin's geckos we got last night. Got an adult and two juveniles hanging around one of the houses. We've got some photos this morning, just in some better light, and I'm gonna stick these back in the rock crevices here. So we uh, released a couple of specimens this morning that we got last night. Um, we took a few bites from some of those bush snakes and the house snake. They're a bit, a bit aggro sometimes. Um, off now, going west, we're gonna get the coast, hopefully this afternoon. Just gonna fix up the tire that we messed up yesterday and then uh, in Springbok and then through to the coast. And hopefully by this afternoon we'll be doing some of that coastal herping. So we'll probably catch you guys then. Oh check it out, we just added a new location spot of bush snakes. Bam! What? Bam! They're not they're not they're missing for crabbies. Bam! Winning. Okay, so it's almost six o'clock but the sun is still quite high here and we've just got our new tire so we're not gonna break down anytime soon but it's taken us the whole day we only no, we're only just getting to Port Nardot now. But on the way just before we got to Springbok we got uh, what do we get Luke? Uh, Western Rock Skink and uh Whistles Gecko. We've got a couple of adults and juveniles on a nice little rocky outcrops there. We've got some photos to release them again. Yeah tonight we're gonna be heading to Port Nardot for two nights so we'll see if we can get something really cool because there's some dwarf adders in the area that we set up to get hold of and then some other adders and some cool chameleons. So maybe next time you see us we'll have something careful in our hands. So it's safe to assume we made it to um, Port Nardot and it's like, what is it, what about date? Yeah. It's quarter past eight, the sun's still up. It's crazy, it's like we're in England. Never experienced it before in South Africa. And it's cold. It's, we're both wearing jackets because we didn't expect it to be so cold in Northern Cape. But Luke just found, what did you find him do? Yeah, we got a little uh, spotted barking gecko. And uh, it's quite a lot of tracks of some other fossorial species. So. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, yeah, we'll hopefully find some, some chameleons stuff. maybe tonight. Look around, we spot some snakes, some scorpions, some very dangerous scorpions. Um, and yeah, we'll go to tomorrow and maybe we can find some cool stuff. Cool. So we're in uh, Port Nolith uh, Cemetery. Um, and we've just got this little guy. Ready, Podian Occidental, this is Western Dwarf Chameleon. This is a nice little male uh, just sleeping around in the bushes here. Uh, we've seen quite a few juveniles around. We've also been stopped by the cops asking what we're doing in, in broken Afrikaans to explain we're looking for, for clear money, please. <laughs> and all they asked us to do was move our car off the road because it's too far in. <laughs> we were expected to get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, we'll go and release this guy. But this is basically. The only dwarf community we expect to find on this trip. Oh, 
look at that. Oh, nothing. That's <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Whatever. That's <laughs> just nothing. Oh, there's a cloud. Oh, there's another cloud. Yeah. Oh, there's quite a lot of clouds. There's a <laughs> herd. A herd of clouds. A gaggle of clouds. A gaggle, obviously. A cuddle of clouds. A cuddle? Yeah. A cuddle of clouds. <laughs> Saw a dead butterfly on the window. Lepidopterous Nightmare version 2. The unadapted version. The Asian version. Oh, it's so many butterflies! <laughs> 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 